57-year-old Peter Avilanoza, director for the Equal Opportunity Division at the United States Housing and Urban Development Office in Oklahoma, is among those still unaccounted for. The Kaimuki High School graduate transferred to the Oklahoma HUD office just a few months ago. The HUD offices in Oklahoma were on the 7th and 8th floors of the 9-story building that was bombed today. About three months ago, 56-year-old Peter Avalanoza was excited about his promotion to Director of Equal Opportunity at the Housing and Urban Development Department. But the new post required him to move from Hawaii to Oklahoma and work in the building that was destroyed in yesterday's blast. Villanoza says the only positive thing to come out of his effort so far is the people of Oklahoma City. And I can't ex express my my gratitude towards these people in Oklahoma. They've just been great. You know, they've just been outstanding. Derek says he'd like to remain in Oklahoma City as long as it takes to determine his father's fate. Saying he simply couldn't take the sights, the sounds, and the disappointment any longer, Derek Villanoza packed up his bags and returned to California today, wondering how he could tell his children that there was no sign of his father. We're still trying to look for their, for my, for their grandpa, and hopefully we can find him. One feeling Derek is not experiencing is anger toward those responsible for the devastation. I'm not even concentrating on that, to tell you the truth right now. You know, it was just a matter of time before they got him. Um, I, I've, <laughs> I'm just frustrated. Why? He's one of those happy-go-lucky type guys. Derek says he hopes his father's strength has carried him through the explosion, but it's getting harder to keep up that hope when there's no word. Well, the kids are still small. They really don't understand quite the, the force of it. We followed the disaster with Lompoc resident Derek Villanoza as he awaited news of his father. We were there for the announcement that he had died in the explosion, and tonight we're there for the final goodbye. Mary Zanikas from our affiliate in Hawaii was at the funeral. Hey! Five. Ready? Ready? Five. Peter of Villanoza was laid to rest here at the Hawaii State Veterans Cemetery in Kaneohe. Peter was born in Honolulu 56 years ago, a graduate of Kaimuki High School. He was a loving husband, a father of 10, and a grandpa of 14. Peter of Villanoza was cremated and his ashes placed in a koa urn. Along with his ashes, one of Peter's sons placed his police badge. Another son included his Navy SEAL pin. And finally, included in the urn, pictures of the grandkids who meant so much to their grandpa.